Yeah. You gotta listen. If you're not listening, that's not helpful. So we've been working with Spirit for about a month, and we're gonna go ahead and push her back in, but the sheep have actually gotten used to her. Spirit, come. The spirit, or the sheep are starting to get used to her, so as soon as they see her come in here, they actually start going to the uh, barn like they're supposed to. We're just using her to push them in. Slow. Spirit. Slow. Good girl. Slow. Good job. Push. All right, wait. Ah, 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 ah. No. Push. Gentle with the lambs. All right, good. All right, all right, spirit. Back. Back. Spirit, back. So I can shut the gate. Back. Back, good. All right, no, that's it. We're done. Good girl. Good. All done. All right, so that's how she does it. Like I said, she does pretty good. She's still learning. She gets excited and then, you know, you tell her a command and she just doesn't listen. So we're still working on correcting that, but she's doing much better. Come on, Spirit. Let's go. Come on. We're done. Good girl. It, uh, it's going to be another warm day today, which I do like that. Uh, actually, don't need this anymore. It was about, it was, I mean, it wasn't cold this morning. It's like 45, 42, somewhere in there. But it was really breezy. It didn't feel so good. Have you ever put a project off for like four or five years? Yeah, me too. I'm gonna show you what it was. So for those of you who like me have never put off a project for five years, this is the project that I haven't been putting off for several years took all those panels down and we actually had them all and I needed them for something else at the time when if some of you have been with the channel long enough you remember that we used to use a grain wagon to store our feed in and before we built that barn that grain wagon actually stayed outside these were the panels that we used to use for the roof of it and they unfortunately got damaged um, when we were taking them off and attended or intending to put them back here. So now we have some scrap metal that we've had laying around. I'm gonna cut these, throw them up, kinda gets the metal out of the way for me, and check something off the list. Ta-da! So it's all closed in. I know that the metal is dirty, but it'll be all right. It's, well, actually it won't get washed off because it's under the lean-to. But the important part is actually this over here. I'll show you. You guys all know that in the winter time when it gets really cold, or say it's below 50 degrees or so, or even 30 overnight, we shut these doors. Um, they're, one up here and the one at the bottom of the barn down there. We shut them all, mainly make it to where it's warmer in here for the sheep. Their body heat actually heats this whole facility pretty well, and it keeps the water from freezing really well. And we want to make sure that happens because now we have a way to remotely turn our water on and off through Wi-Fi. This was all open right here, which made it to where you know, if it, let's say it's 32 degrees out, all that cold air is coming right in, right here at the faucet. So we went ahead and closed all that up, um, and it needed to be done anyway. Now, let's go feed these guys. Are you hiding behind that hay bale? You're not very good at hide and seek. I read. Good boy. Hi, honey. How are you? Oh. 
I know the concept probably sounds funny, but I would love to strap a GoPro to these guys and let them out and let you guys see them bouncing around, running to get to this. But for now, you're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. We're doing our best to integrate Joy into the herd a little bit, or into the flock. And she's doing pretty well. Um, her milk bucket's out there where she can reach it, and then she can still go out and hang out with the rest of the flock. So far, it's pretty good. She still runs to us, and needless to say, is very excited to see us. So, that'll end up working out though, like it does with all the other bottle babies. Probably the last time you'll hear that car for the rest of this winter. Probably won't see it again until spring. We have some snow coming up in the forecast. So we're gonna go ahead and do all the services on this car and put it away for winter, basically. Sad day. So just like the other vehicles, this one gets a full service come winter time too. So we changed the transmission fluid. We changed the rear end. Um, you know, kind of everything that needs to be done as far as services go. And we do change the engine oil. This car only sees about five, maybe 10,000 miles a year. Today's the day that you're going to get us, get to see us spread with the new tracker. We, uh, we saved this load because we had family coming and we knew that a little boy named Jace was wanting to ride in the tractor. So we decided to wait and spread it when he got here. So we're going to fire the tractor up and get it warmed up for Jace and me because I don't like to be cold either. And I forgot to push the record button and it actually went really smooth. The battery sounded a little weak at first and then it fired after cranking over for about two or three seconds. It's not terribly cold out today though. It's uh, I think it's like 40 something low 40s mid 40s somewhere there but either way for a diesel engine with no glow plugs i'm pretty happy you ready 